This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Well, joining us today Following news from the West Bickle Lake joint venture with Palladium One is Mark Sale, the CEO of First Class Metal. Thank you very much for joining us today, Mark. Now, of course, Palladium One have announced wide zones of uh, nickel copper mineralization intersections at the West Bickle Lake. That's, of course, a joint venture alongside First Class Metals. Let me ask you, first of all, I noticed some comments in the RNS that were quite uh, quite encouraging from you talking about results from the West Pickle Lake, uh, the widest intercepts reported to date from the discovery. And you're also seeing the potential for shallower bulk tonnage in these wider widths. So that sounds pretty significant to me. But what are your key takeaways from uh, from this latest announcement from Palladium One? Mark, first of all, thank you for taking the time to uh, interview me. I think there's several key points that we must uh, hold close to our chest here in so much as, yes, you're right, there's wider, um, albeit lower grade intersections, but there are some higher grade intercepts included in those wide, low grade intercepts, which starts to build volume. Secondly, it's open to the west and to the east, and it still remains open down dip. So it, it's open in all directions, shall we say. The lower grade material, fortunately, is at a lower level, i.e. higher up closer to the surface than the high grade material, which looking forward would be uh, far more amenable to um, development than obviously deep low grade material. And the fact that it's open, it's open east and west. Now it's open to the east towards their RJ showing, which means that Palladium One is gonna be very keen to develop that trend between the two, which is to our benefit, because what we don't want is the West Pickle Lake zone just being like an island. If it was part of a continuous body, it would be far more amenable to development. Secondly, it's open to the West, which one could draw a long arm and say towards their whole 76, but that means it crosses 100% owned FMC. Um, FCM material, which again is good for us. So all in all, this is a short, um, punchy news release, wide, low grade, near surface, high grades, persistent, continuous towards the RJ and open in all directions. I think it's a very, very buoyant press release for Palladium One and obviously first class on the back of it. It seems to be, doesn't it? I mean, certainly if uh, you've got uh, lower grade, but at a shallower depth, it, it's potential for much easier mining, isn't it? Open pit mining, which is a lot less complicated than, than of course, underground mining. You say that it's open to the east and west and potentially expanding there into your 100% owned area, which again is only good for first class metals. Out of interest, has Palladium One approached you at all to perhaps expand the joint venture area? Um, what is it the Americans say? I'll take the fifth on that, but Watch this space. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, I wonder if I can pick up on something from the last time we spoke about this uh, this West Pickle Lake area. That's the downhole EM that Palladium One were looking to. to. Do you have any more information if they've done any of that, if they plan to do more of it to help target more, uh, more exacting drill locations? They are planning uh, quite an intensive ground um, exploration program, which will include further geophysics, not just EM, but magnetics as well. And this is all, I mean, and you, if you listen to some of Neil's interviews, and he's a very erudite man, it's all to do with the fact that these chronoliths um, are what's left from the um, ancient systems that hasn't been absorbed into the granite, and they've been missed historically in the mapping and the prospecting. So it they're not easy to find, and I think they're going about it the right way with an intensive systematic exploration program this season. And obviously, the aim is to prove up volume now. Mm -hmm. we, we've shown there's potential for grade, but we need to make, well, they need to make it economically viable as far as the volume is concerned. So, yes, an intensive ground-based exploration program um, to join up, as I say, um, West Pickle Lake with RJ as a, as a, as a start point. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, the field season is 
practically upon us now, the Canadian field season then. You said in the RNS that plans to develop our own exploration plans are underway for 2023. So how are these plans coming along and is all the work that Palladium One have done really helping you and your team to, uh, to create those plans yourself to get out and actually do some exploring yourself? Well, obviously, we will be doing some um, exploration, ground reconnaissance on the area to the west of West Pickle Lake on our 100% owned. But that uh, forms just a part of the overall picture. We'll also be do expanding the area of the Dead uh, Otter Lake trend, the gold focus, Molybdenum in the south, progressing that towards a drill-ready status. And obviously, we will also be looking at the other favourable trend on the North Hemlo property, which is the uh, the fair service dotted lake trend, which is, again, polymetallic and precious metals. But yeah, wider afield, um, we're advancing the, the, uh, the Sunbeam project towards drill readiness. It will depend on which areas have the best uh, thaw as to whether we go into North Hemlo or ESSA first. We've now got all the soil samples back from the ESSA program, so we will be releasing something on that in the not-too-distant future. And, of course, we had guys um, up on the, the newly acquired ZigZag recently checking the access there. So there's the, the four areas that um, we will focus on are the ones that we want to drill um, this year. I'm not saying we'll drill them all, but certainly we want to bring them as close to drill-ready scenarios as possible. That's Sunbeam, Zigzag, Essa, and North Hemlo. North Hemlo, yeah, okay. And you're hoping to get them drill ready for drilling this year? Yes, I'll be very disappointed if we don't drill on one or more okay. of the, the project areas this year. Fantastic. Okay, I mean, well, that's... Uh, when, I, when I, sorry to interrupt you, Mark, when I say that, there's, there's, there's several factors which will determine that. Obviously, you need to drill target, mm -hmm. the funding, a drill permit, and more importantly, and I believe they're like hen's teeth at the moment, a drill rig to be available. So there's a number of factors that build up to drilling. It's it's not just a case of let's go out and drill. You, you have to do preparation both geologically, financially, and logistically. Okay. So the, the icing on the cake, let's say, will be to get a drill program running this year, but really you are going to be very active across at least four, if not five projects um, doing yeah, basic ground reconnaissance work. Correct. I mean, and we haven't even mentioned McKellar, Enable, um, uh, two other uh, burgeoning, very exciting projects that we have on the books. Okay, so an active exploration season, field season regardless, which is good. We look forward to following that during the lulls of the summer in the stock market. Mark, can I just ask you finally, I believe you're attending a couple of events, um, one in Frankfurt, one in London. Is this correct? And can people perhaps come in and see you, say hello? Uh, certainly, yes. I'll at, I'm at Goldmess in Frankfurt on Friday, the, is it the 5th and 6th of May. Mm -hmm. And then with Ao Bodhi, one of the other directors of First Class in London for 121 on the 9th and 10th of May. It's, it's an investor-oriented conference, but any legitimate investor can come and speak with us um, or we're available outside, shall we say, for one-on-one -on -one meetings if people do want to come and talk to us and hear the First Class story. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Mark Sale, the CEO of First Class Metals. Thank you again, Mark. You take care. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programmes at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.